United States Army is a diverse organization with a singular unified purpose. The Army is diverse because the people of the United States are diverse. U.S. citizens have so many special facets to them. The Army, as a subset of those citizens, also reflects diversity in religion, language, race, ethnicity, and gender, just to name a few. The Chaplain Corps is charged with the duty to protect and support the free practice of religion for all soldiers. To ensure that freedom, the Chaplain Corps is highly invested in developing itself as a diverse and unified force for religious support. While each chaplain holds their own personal beliefs that are in concert with their faith group, there is no room in the Army or in the Chaplain Corps for beliefs and practice that involve hatred or discrimination against persons. Chaplains who hold vastly disparate beliefs continue to work side by side to ensure the freedom of all soldiers. This mirrors the Army ethic as a vastly diverse group of soldiers also work as one team to ensure the freedom of all of American citizens. There are, of course, beliefs that are antithetical to military service. Anyone who is openly an anarchist or a part of a hate group won't be able to join the U.S. military. Outside of those exceptions, the U.S. Army Chaplain Corps remains both diverse and unified. The Corps is composed of chaplains from the five largest religions in the world. The Army welcomes chaplains who are Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, Jewish, and Christian. Reflecting the demographic majority of the U.S. citizens, Christian chaplains include a large variety of Protestants, Catholics, and those who claim neither of those, such as Eastern Orthodox and Anglican. But what if you're not one of those? What if you practice another religion that I didn't list? But what if you practice no religion at all? First, if you do not fit into the above categories that I just listed, your religious organization can apply to become an endorser and then they can endorse you as a chaplain. Second, let me be very clear on this. There are no non-religious chaplains by definition. The statutory mandate for the role of military chaplain is to protect and provide religious freedom. Chaplains provide that freedom even for non-religious soldiers. But by definition, a chaplain is a religious leader. If you want to help soldiers from a non-religious perspective, you should probably pursue the path of clinical psychology. If you think you have the calling to become an Army chaplain, I welcome you to discuss joining us in a dynamic ministry in our gloriously diverse context. Diverse and unified, we will serve soldiers as they serve the nation. If you would like to know more about chaplaincy in the context of the U.S. Army or how to become an Army chaplain, please watch more videos on this channel and use the provided contact information to reach out to a chaplain recruiter. Please like and share our videos when appropriate, and please subscribe to this channel for updates. Blessing to you and yours, for God and country.